guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here i appreciate you guys so much for giving this video a click and giving me a try if you're new here if you're not new here thank you so much for your continued support i appreciate all of you whoever you are so so much um if you're new here please consider hitting that subscribe button to join my youtube family don't forget the bell button because then you are notified every time I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment down below because all of those things will help out my channel so much. You should do that for any of your favorite YouTubers or any just YouTubers because it tells YouTube that you're enjoying our content and that help us, helps us out. Um, today for you, I do have a Dollar Tree haul. I hope your weekend is starting off great. Um, mine's busy, but that's my life this month. So um, it's currently Tuesday when I'm recording this because I need the stuff before, but um, I hope your weekend is going amazingly. I'm excited. I have a super full bag. Like I have a super full bag to share with you guys. So we are going to get started. Where to start first? So first of all, I picked up some more spiders. This isn't my first rodeo. I keep picking them up. These ones I got though because I'm going to put them outside. I decided this week, this past week, that I wanted to decorate the outside of our house even more so than like my little bit that I usually do. And so I picked up a few things of these spiders. I'm pretty sure there's another one in this bag somewhere because um, I want to put them on the outside like they're crawling on the outside of the house. I got some space tape in my Dollar Tree haul on Tuesday and hopefully these are fuzzy though, but hopefully that'll hold these up. So that's my goal. And I think we will get to another, I think we'll get to another bag of them. Yep, there they are because I got six spiders to put up on the walls outside. Um, also on Tuesday, I did pick up some gray creepy cloth, but I also found some white creepy cloth. It's one of those things like it's starting to dwindle down. So if you want creepy cloth, it's time to scoop it up because you're gonna end up not being able to find it. Um, but I wanna do some creepy cloth out in the front yard. Um, quite honestly, hopefully, the outside is already done for, right? Like it's already done by the time you guys are seeing this because like I said, I'm recording on Tuesday. So hopefully throughout this week, we've gotten it all done and it looks amazing out there. I also got a few of these bats. I've picked some up to do in my um, trick or my trunk or treat for my haunted circus. But then I was like, you know what? These are gonna be fine for like the weather outside because they're like plastic rubbery. Um, I don't think it tells me, but it does say it's not a toy for decoration only. Um, but I think, you know, these will be fine sitting outside. So um, I don't know if I'm going to hang them in my creepy house, which is out or on my porch or what. But I did pick up three, I believe, of these little bats to put outside in my outside decor. And like I said, I think they're going to be awesome out there. I also picked up for out there this um, on my creepy house. I got some bloody hands from Five Below because they were only a dollar there, so it saved me a quarter. But then I got this one that says keep out at Dollar Tree. And so I just stick it in on the inside of the creepy house. And eventually this will disintegrate because it's just like a gel like kind of material. But it um it looks awesome when I put it on there. And then I'll just keep it and until it just doesn't want to keep anymore, is is the plan for that one. I picked this up. I don't, I don't know yet. It is a wall decoration, but it doesn't tell me how big it is. Oh no, it's 42 inches by 72 inches. I had one thought of putting it in the window, but I don't know how dark that'll make the front room if I do that. Um, and then I th had a thought of putting it on the garage door, but I don't think I want to do that. So I don't know, but I'm doing kind of a graveyard theme for my outside decor. And so this kind of like fits but I I don't know if this is going to go out there or not. I picked it up just in case because if you don't, then you don't ever find it again um, because then I'll like, you know, change my mind. I'll decide I want it and then I'll never find it. So I did pick it up just in case and we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I picked up a thing of popcorn balls. For whatever reason, these sound really good. When I was out shopping, Walmart had a big like box of them I think so did um, Target, to be honest. And I don't need that amount. And so I thought to myself, self, I'm just gonna grab this one for $1.25 at Dollar Tree. They are made in the US by Kathy K Foods. Um, and I think they're basically just like kettle corn, like popcorn balls. So um, when I'm done here, I will probably have one of these for a snack because for whatever reason, it sounds great. Is it gonna be great? Maybe. We'll see. We'll see afterwards. 
Um, so you, my tree is decorated. I really love it. I've been adding little bits because um, on Tuesday I did a haul and I had to add my spiders on. So there's like one right there. Um, and then I added my little stick out thing on the other side, but you can't see that when I'm recording. But I didn't really have a good tree topper for my tree. And so I thought to myself, self, you're creative. You can probably make a topper. I don't make bows, but my thought is, is to try to make a bow of some sort with this decorative mesh and this ribbon, because this ribbon, I feel like just like encompasses my tree, right? Because my tree is just all the different things. So this has spider webs, candy corn, bats, jack-o'-lanterns, a skull, it says creepy, it says spooky. So it just has like all kinds of different like Halloween-y things on it. So I thought that I could try to make like a bow. So I'll probably watch some YouTubes, figure out how to make a bow and make like a fluffy kind of like circular bow to be my tree topper. And then that way it's not like anything spooky or weird, but it like, it it matches is, is what my goal is with that. And I bought also to go along with that some pipe cleaners to try to like use that to hold together the bow. So hopefully <clears throat> that's all I need and hopefully YouTube can teach me how to do that. And when I was looking at the ribbon, I found this one too. Um, and this one just reminded me kind of my Hocus Pocus party and the witches and stuff. So just in case I want to do anything with this, I bought it too. And on these you get three yards. Yep, and three yards. So you get three yards of ribbon on those and you get six, no, six inches long, five yards of deco mesh for that. So... So we will see. We will see how that turns out. Hopefully good. Um, I picked myself up a book. It sounded interesting. I was on the hunt for a book for Braxton. I did find one, but I always look for books. I think this one's more of a teen book, but um, it sounded like it was an interesting read. So it says, Josie Griffin is not a vampire. This would also be cute, just like sitting out as decor. But it says, first, the boyfriend had cheated on her with her best friend. He totally deserved the baseball bat to his windshield. Then the court ordered community service. And now the court ordered anger management therapy with a bunch of kids who think they're supernatural beings. Everyone knows that there's no such thing as fairies, vampires, werewolves, or Greek gods, especially not in Indianapolis. Although the Greek god does look pretty godly, and that fairy girl is a little sprite. I don't know what that means. But one thing is for sure though she may be a former cheerleader turned rebel josie griffin is not a vampire i don't know sounded interesting i didn't know if maybe that would be braxton's book but i ended up finding something i like better for him and so i bought that um i picked up a halloween card for my best friend just to let her know that i love her it is says friend you know me so well it's scary at halloween and always it's a treat to call you friend we have been friends since we were in elementary school I was in fifth grade and she was in fourth grade when we met so we've been best friends for like more than more time than we haven't so um and then now our kids are really good friends too which is awesome but I just wanted to send her just a little like thinking of you for her Halloween card because I liked it it just caught my eye I wasn't even looking at cards but that one caught my eye so I I picked it up I'm trying to see if there's anything else Halloween in here before I get to Christmas I did pick up a couple Christmas things. I did, so I picked up some things for some, um, that's what I was looking for. Um, so in my desk office area, I want to do um, pastel Halloween, just like a little section of it, because I really like pastel Halloween. And I have a little tin jack-o'-lantern. And so my thought was, is I plan to paint this pink and then put the tin jack-o'-lantern, like attach it on top maybe with some like wood squares so it sticks out a little bit. And so I just picked up this, I feel like it's kind of misshapened, um, little canvas square that's 10 by 10. It doesn't feel super stretched. Like it looks like, like this wood piece is like bowed a little, but it'll be fine. It's gonna do just fine for what I want it to do. And so um, I'm gonna do that to have like a little picture over there. And I do have some pastel stuff that I've picked up. Um, after Halloween last year. So I wanted to do that. So it's a little DIY. And then I do have my little tree that sits up front that has been very neglected since I kept this tree up year round. And so I wanted to pick up some ornaments that I plan to paint in pastels to put on that tree. This one says, Happy Halloween. 
and you get three of them in here and to be honest if I really feel like excited I might paint one for this tree which is in green purple and orange and that would be really cute and then do two or one and then one maybe in pastels and then maybe one in candy corn I don't know but um I got those because I think that they were really cute but then I got the cats and the pumpkins to paint in the pastels and I mean you get 12 I think in each of these maybe eight they're probably eight pieces then um in each so we'll just do a few you know just to kind of decorate that tree that's something that I'm going to start working on is getting kind of a little bit of a pastel Halloween but this is this is going to be probably the extent of it this year um and I have these on this tree like right here is a pumpkin that's painted orange I don't have any cats but I have ghosts that are painted white you can't see it it's right above the bat and then I have spooky ones that are purple with a white ghost but so I'm going to do those for the pastel tree so I have a couple DIYs to do for in there now I don't think there's any other Halloween stuff and if we if there is then there is we'll get to it but I don't think so I think everything else in here is other fun stuff so my best friend's daughter's birthday is coming up it's the neon Halloween party that you guys have been hearing about because I did some shopping for it and I've been working on getting her a gift and um I, I mean I have a plan for like a bigger gift for her but I like to do little fun things too and so I got her a bunch of lip balms and lip glosses that are Sour Patch Kids because she loves Sour Patch Kids and I thought I'd put them in here because green is her favorite color and this check print is really popular. Um, she We went to the bins together last week and she was picking out all the checkered vans so I know she'll like this. So I'm going to put all the lip glosses and stuff in here and there is another one in here but I don't know where. So that's going to be for part of her birthday gift. And then I got two of these because I got one for me and then I'm going to give one to her because I think the same thing. I'm going to add it to that little bag. But she likes the little under eye things. You get two pairs in here. Um, you get one is pineapple and cooling and the other one is orange and brightening. And it just like the colors matched her birthday stuff to me. And so that's why I got it for her. And then it's bedazzled and all shiny and and so I got that to add into that little bag, but I got one for me because it just feels like it's going to be really nice. And then, um, I don't know where the, we'll get there. I'm sure it's down here somewhere. Um, but I did get kind of in that same-ish area, a couple things of these back and body pills. I love these. My back has been hurting a lot lately. I think I get really active, like just doing a lot like I'm decorating and I'm decorating outside and I'm decorating a tree and I'm doing DIYs and I'm sitting funny and my back just starts to hurt from it all um and these really help a lot so I got two things of them I like to keep one down here in one in my bedroom because then I have them and I have one in my purse um because then I have them so I picked up two of those you get 20 capsules in each container so it's like 10 doses in there and I think that's awesome um, I picked this up for me. It is a resurfacing and exfoliating en enzyme mask with pumpkin and a, a, a H A's. I don't know what a H A's are, but I imagine they're good for you. I want to give this a smell. I love pumpkin and it's pumpkin season. And when I saw that, my first thought was, I wonder how that smells. So it is definitely exfoliating. You can see little grits in there. I don't know what the little grits are, but it smells like pumpkin pie. Okay, I'm excited to use that. I'm going to do a whole spa night for myself, I think. And so it looks like that. And I'm sure you just put on a clean face type thing, I'm sure is the directions to use. After cleansing, dispense a quarter size amount into hands. Gently massage into damp skin in circular motions, avoiding the eye area. Rinse thoroughly. Use twice a week, either a.m. or p.m. to exfoliate. So I'm going to give that a try. It smells really good. Like if you like the smell of pumpkin, pumpkin pie, pumpkin spice, you'll probably like that. And then this was a new to me. I have never seen this. I haven't even seen this in anybody's hauls. Not saying y'all haven't found it. If I watch your hauls, maybe I've missed it so far. But this is black charcoal 
Double Bubble Cleanser by Soe, S-O-O-A-E, Soe. So it says it starts out like this, like a charcoal, and it turns into a foam, like bubbly, it bubbles into a, a foam. So it's a cleanser plus a mask, a two-in-one, clean, plant-based, and clarifying, it says. Direction, apply an even layer over dry skin, avoiding the eye area. When bubbles cover the face entirely, use wet fingers to gently massage in circular motions for one to two minutes, and then rinse off thoroughly with lukewarm water. Do not use more than three minutes. Tip, for more bubbling action, apply a thin layer. The thinner the layer, the better. Nice that they say that because that means you're gonna get more use out of it, right? They're not like, hey, put a ton on your face and then that way you like run out. So I'm excited to try that. That seems like fun. Let's see, do I have, oh, I also scooped up this, but it's open so it keeps wanting to fall out. Um, I wanted, you know, the little like kits that they have or had, I don't know if I've seen them in a while. They're like little like manicure kits in a little plastic container. That's what I wanted so I could keep it in my car. But I got this because I needed an, uh, a clippers. I had a hangnail that was like hurting and I didn't want to rip it off and I needed to clip it. And so I bought the, the set because you get eight pieces. The first one I scooped up first only had three. It had a little clipper and two nail files where this one has several nail files, two clippers, tweezers. So I'm probably gonna get maybe one of those crown boxes and put them all in here and still put them in my car because a nail file is always good to have in your car because you never know when you're gonna break a nail, clippers, all the things. So I wanted to get those. All right, Jay from Frugal Jay was on the other day and I was watching her and she picked up this plate and I told myself, self, I want that plate. I am nowhere near ready to start buying for um, Christmas. As you can tell, I'm still buying for Halloween. But if you don't pick it up when you see it, you don't end up getting it. So I bought this because my kitchen for Christmas is decorated with gingerbreads. Gingerbreads are one of my absolute favorite things for Christmas time. And so I really wanted this. It says I'm here for the cookies, which is so cute. And this has matching mugs. I probably don't need the mugs. I'm probably going to regret my decision on that, but I don't need the mugs because I have a, a huge mug collection, especially for Christmas. But Jay from Frugal Jay had mentioned that she was on the hunt for the mugs. And so I scooped them up for her and hopefully she's okay. So I'm recording this on Tuesday. Florida was supposed to get hit with a hurricane on Wednesday and it was supposed to be like all of, of Florida. So whatever the outcome of that is, make sure that they're in your thoughts and prayers because it looked like it was going to be a bad one when I was watching for it. But um, I texted her and she said, yes, please. So I scooped these up for Jay because she was on the hunt to get these to match her plate and she wanted two of them. So I, I got them. I got you, girl. And so I'm going to get these boxed up and sent ASAP. Um, I'm, Jay, I'm recording this on Tuesday. My plan is by hopefully by the end of the week to get these into the mail, plus all the other stuff I owe you. Um, and so that you get it. But then when I was looking at those on like kind of the end cap right there were these two. I didn't even know that this was a thing that I was looking for, but it sure is. So I got myself one and Jay one. I honestly don't need these because I have a bunch of like decorative spatulas for the season, but doesn't mean I didn't scoop them up because they're so cute. It says baking Christmas cheer on the big one and then a little gingy on the small one. Um, these are usable, sustainable, and heat resistant. I have some little cute ones that I've made. So like they're literally just decorative where these ones you can use. So I got one for myself and one for Jay. So I'm gonna add that in her package that I need to get to her. So I was really excited for those. Okay, this is, I was searching for. I got this for my best friend's daughter. I already picked up the red one, which was red raspberry or something. And this one is blue raspberry. But I'm trying to pick up any of them that I see that are different than the ones that I've already picked up. So, so far I got her, it's a two pack of a lip gloss and a chapstick and then two separate chapsticks. And they're all going to go in that little bag for her birthday. For her gift, I think I'm going to go to Ulta and they have mini brands. Um, I love mini brands. Um, Lorelai loves mini brands. My best friend loves mini brands and so does my best friend's daughter. And 
they have the Ulta ones and so she would absolutely die for those and my all my searches told me I have to go to Ulta to get them so that's my plan to get like a couple of those for her like real gift um when I was wandering through my store I found dowels and I usually cannot find wood dowels at any of my stores ever and so when I saw these I picked them up these ones are 15.75 inches long so a little bit longer than a ruler and a half of an inch I'm assuming in diameter so like a half of an inch by 15 inches so nice long dowel rods I just want these on hand for when I need them for crafts because there are plenty of times where I wish I had dowel rods and I don't and so they had a whole box of this size I picked up two so that I have four of them on hand and then they I only found one in this size and this size is 12 inches long so a ruler long by 0.36 inches in diameter so these ones are just a little bit smaller so I got four and four to have them on hand for when I need them because there's just times when you want dowel rods um, also in that section I picked up some of a receipt some of this cute paper so this is by deco time it says um, by Nalm creative and they had like a whole end cap thing, but there wasn't a ton left on it. But I picked up the two that like tickled my fancy. This one, I liked a whole lot more, obviously. So this is pineapples. It has flamingos. Um, it's in my color scheme, my summertime that I love. It's got ice cream cones on it like this. It has little coffee cups. It's got stickers. So what does this come with? It comes with two, two pieces of die cut paper, two pieces of double-sided paper two more pieces of double-sided paper but they're smaller eight paper tags one sticker sheet and one rope banner thing for like little tags so I got this set and then I picked this one up too because this one also had flamingos and it has like cheetah print and stuff which I used to be really into cheetah print but I'm not so much anymore but it's got like this whole tropical vibe to it like jungle tropical vibe and so I picked that one up too. And so I'm going to put that with my crafting stash so that I have that when, whenever like the crafting bug hits. Um, I did pick up some boring things. Everything else actually is fun besides this. Just a couple of these bags. This is how I store my seasonal pillows. And I have some seasonal pillows that weren't in bags. So I need to get them bagged up and then we put them in storage. And it keeps all the dust and bugs and stuff off of them. So I needed a couple of those. So I bought those. And then my husband should be coming home anytime. So when I hear noises, I'm like, is it him? Um, they had some more shoe charms at Dollar Tree. And so we all like our Crocs here now. And so I bought these. These were just the only two that I found. So this one has like the pizza and the little game thing. And so each of my boys will be happy. Braxton will like this. Eric will like this. Neither of them are really into sports, but I might just do two for each of them. And then... Laurel, I would honestly love all of these. Um, so we have the boba, the french fries, the ramen, and the flour. And so they might go in stockings for the Christmas. They might, I don't know, they might just be given to them, but they're super cute. I'm actually, they're not Halloween, but for their boo bags, I'm giving them like a, a charm holder thing. It's like a piece of foam, not foam, felt with little holes in it so they can keep their croc charms like somewhere and maybe I'll give those to them with that because then I don't have to try to find them later on and then lastly for this haul and this is it but I had no idea I had no idea I found some really cute chopsticks so me and Lorelai and Braxton will all use chopsticks when like the meals call not call for you know for noodles or um Chinese food or Asian food or anything like that we like we all like to use our chopsticks and these are bamboo chopsticks. That one has little sushi rolls on the top. How cute is that? And you get two sets of chopsticks with these. And this one has little mushrooms. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to put these to the side. And these are going to go in Lorelai's stocking because she loves mushrooms and she loves using chopsticks. So these are going to get put to the side for Christmas for her. The packaging is adorable too. Let's see. This is by... Gamago, G-A-M-A-G-O, Gamago. Um, 
NMR brands, but they have these, which please stop doing that Dollar Tree. Just put it by the barcodes because they just look terrible that way. But this was literally in my store. These were the only two that I saw. They were with the bamboo skewers and they were both of these set there and I didn't find anything else. So hopefully there's like another batch because like I said, I think Braxton would enjoy them and so would Lorelai. I mean, I can give him these and it would be fine. But yeah, I think those are really cute. Like I was super excited when I found those. But guys, that's it. I know it's a little bit of a shorter one, but um, that's it's the stuff I have. So I hope you're having an amazing weekend. Thank you again for spending time with me. Send your, all your love and thoughts and everything to anybody in Florida. Also anybody that is still, I'm sure, rebuilding from Hurricane H Haleen. Helene, Helene. Um, there's an E at the end. I want to say Helen, but it's Helene. So I mean that that destruct like that was destructive. Like I can't imagine being in any of those areas. So just send all your love. That's one reason I love Colorado. We don't have a lot of we don't have a lot of that here. Our our weather is pretty consistent. We get blizzards sometimes, and parts of Colorado get tornadoes, but not in the Denver metro area. And so I feel very fortunate. We did get a really big hailstorm, but that's nothing in comparison. I, I got a new car and I got a new roof because we had a really bad hailstorm, but that is nothing in comparison. So send all your love to everybody that you can. Like, love on your family. Do all the lovey things. Like, just spread kindness and spread love because I just feel so bad. Like, when big things like that happen, like, I always feel so bad because I can't do anything. But thank you for spending your time with me. I appreciate you guys all so much. Head over to my other channel, Celebrating with Amber, if you want to keep seeing what I'm doing with all my, my stuff. Um, just know I'm busy. I'm busy working on all my things to get it done so that I could get content out to you guys and so I can like do my trunk or treats and photo booth. And right now, when you're watching this, I'm probably at my photo booth for a fall fest. And the next weekend, I will be at a trunk or treat. And then the following weekend, I will be at a trunk or treat again. So um, I can't wait until I see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.